this lecture we will make our character of the game character of the game so if you visualize our game there will be two main character so first will be obviously a bird and second will be our pig so let's say that will be the pig and bird so only there will be the two character and other the bunch of each stop will be like a wood and you have the column and a beam so that is the secondary things but the main character in our game will be bird and a pig so let's define that character so for that let me go to this angry word and create a new python file agent character now just uh, name give the name as a character here again and click ok now our character.py is ready so import uh, some of the module that will be pymonk obviously as and pm in order to work with the physics and we'll import uh, that is pymonk here and from let me say from pymonk so from pymonk import that is the important class here that is a vector 2d so this is basically vector 2d is to deal with the vector in the two dimension so let's create the first or uh, will be the bird obviously so bird is our first class that is the first character and the second character will be our pig so let me say it is a pig and this is our second character so first deal with this uh, class bird so for this class bird what we're gonna do first is always it will have the initializer that is this init function and after this self which is in default parameter so after that we'll just put it a distance first parameter and let me say it is angle the second parameter is angle and x comma y comma space so what is this all about so you when you create basically when you create this label or when you build the label or even in the this main function you will call this bird class and when this bird class is called this initializer will be called or a constructor will be called with this space so space is basically a tuple here or a list which will basically contain our body and a shape of a bird or a pig so that means so firstly what we're going to do is self that is a current bird that is the object for this current bird now give the life for this bird and it will be 20 let's say the life for the bird is 20 now just give the mass so let me just type for self dot mass should be 20 so what is this 20 basically so let me say here is just a mass you can just uh, say mass here and so what is this basically mass is uh, this mass is uh, let me say 5 not 20 so 20 is bigger mass so let me say 5 so what is this 5 so this 5 is the weight for the bird so this 5 will be the for the weight of the bird so this weight uh, should be as much as less because uh, if you put here a more weight or if you put 20 or 25 then you just can't uh, give the project uh, to your bird basically freely so you can just project so when you project that means when you hit that from this sling so when you hit from this um, you can say here the sling and with this basically let me just open it so when you hit from this there should not be uh, that is a uh, stability in this uh, character so that means give the mass as less as you can for the freely movement of the bird so i'll stick to the mass to the five and now we'll just give radius here so radius will be 20 and now this radius is the standard one all this all the values are the standard one but you can play with this number to satisfy your need and after that we'll say inertia so inertia will be this inertia folder will be this is the pm that is the pi monk module so i have already said you in order to work with this physics that is for the inertia elasticity motion force uh, center of gravity we have the pi monk module so that means i'll check for this moment and there is a function that is moment for circle so you can see here in this moment for circle it will take mass it will take inner radius outer radius and offset so that means uh, what is this basically moment for circle so in simple language it calculates the moment of inertia for the hollow circle 
that means it will just create the hollow circle or from this moment of inertia and this mass that is the first parameter here so let me just give a mass here that is 5 in this case and similarly what you give is inner radius p 0 and outer radius b radius here that is 20 and the basically what we have another parameter is the offset and let me pass as a tuple here that is o comma o so this will create us a circle that is a basically our solid circle so i've already said you before that this would create a hollow circle but i have said you now that this function this overall function will create a solid circle so what the difference was basically if you put here a inner radius zero that means it will just create you a solid circle not a hollow circle but if you create if you just give any radius here in this inner radius then it will just create you a hollow circle so let me create solid circle and that will be for this bird and after this inertia what you're gonna do is we'll just have now body and this is the body for the bird and let me say pm dot we have something that is a body class in this pymonk module so you can check in the documentation so go to this documentation page and you have something that is just go to this pymonk.org and the documentation and you can reference all of this function of this pymonk you can see here we have a vector that is 2d when i click this vector 2d you'd see something that is this vector 2d module and inside this you can check for this vector 2d because we have already said i have already imported that vector 2d from here so this vector 2d was basically just used to define this gravity vector in this space so this was the main task of vec 2d and similarly you can just reference all of these function all of this module and similarly if you see here this was the moment for circle which we just used here in this case this is the moment for circle you can just go to this moment for circle and see what this basically is so this moment of circle will calculate the moment of inertia for the hollow circle but if you just put this inner ray radius is 0 that is inner radius 0 then it will just create a solid circle so we need a solid circle here not a hollow circle because we are dealing with the bird so we'll just see here that the moment of inertia would be for the solid so that would be inner radius with a 0 value so after that we have this body and you can also go in documentation to check for the body so let me just go up here to check for the body and you could see something in this classes pymonk dot body so you can go to this pymonk and body and just see that it creates us a rigid body here and it uses the force to modify the rigid body if possible and this is important point because we'll just use the force to modify this rigid body which in this case we have this bird so we have created now body now in this body what we're gonna pass is mass and inertia because this body is a class so go back to documentation again and it is checking this mass and moment of inertia and other two are optional so this is body type is optional so this is checking for this mass and a moment so we have passed mass in a moment and it has created us a body for our bird so what we're gonna do next is we'll check for the position for this body so let me say the position will be here yux comma y that is the position that we passed when calling this bird class uh, that is while creating the instances of the bird and similarly we'll say power now power is something that is the bird should move with so it should be distance uh, multiplied by 50 so let me say 53 and impulse impulse should be power multiplied by vec 2d and just give here a vector that is 1 comma 0 so basically vec 2d is the most used class or a module in a pymonk for the 2d coordinates and it will define the gravity vector in the space and it is important to check for the impulse so you can just go to the documentation and again check for the impulse here so you can see in this documentation that we have a bunch of this friction density filter friction and elasticity this bunch of uh, parameter are used in the case of physics so it basically provides us to deal with the physics in our game so what are we dealing with is our impulse so let's check for the impulse now 
so impulse would be something that will be used in this function that is apply impulse at local point or impulse apply at world point so it will take just impulse and add that local impulse into the body as if it is applied from the local body point so it is important so we'll just apply this impulse to that point with this power in a vector 2d is basically getting us a vector and you can check the documentation for vector 2d and similarly what you're gonna do next is we'll just have this angle and this angle should be now negative of angle so negative angle that is just give the opposite direction to this angle and similarly what are we gonna do now is the important so that will be the applying this impulse that is from this apply impulse at local point so local point was this from vector 2d so just apply it to the local point that is impulse so that would be impulse dot rotate and just rotated not rotate so this would be rotated and just give the self here is the default parameter the angle radian so obviously the angle will be angle that we just have reverse that was passed in the case of the bird and similarly what we do next is so let me comment this so what is this basically doing so add this local impulse to body as if uh, basically it is applied uh, from the it is applied from the body point body local point so it will be as in body local point it is applied as in body local point so it will just imp apply the impulse with a rotated inverse angle basically so in this default parameter here is also the default parameter in this case that would default parameter would be 0 comma 0 so that is default so we don't put that local point here so after that what you're gonna do next is we'll create the shape now so shape will be something that is pm dot circle so we have a circle class in this pymonk and you can go in this class section and you can search for here a pymonk dot circle so let's click that pymonk and circle and it will take body it will take radius and it will take offset so it will just create the circle shape defined by the radius so just define now here a body that means it will obviously be body that is our body which was created from the mass and inertia and similarly what we'll do is gives the radius that is in this case 20 and similarly we'll give now a default offset that will be o comma o here as an offset to create the shape of for this board so after we create this uh, basically shape for the board in this case if you wonder what this 0 comma 0 tuple is so this 0 comma 0 tuple is offset and this is basically the offset from the body's center of gravity in body local coordinate that this impulse is applied yet so this is important and similarly what you're gonna do next is uh, now we'll add something that is elasticity here so elasticity is a physics property and let me say it is 0 0.95 so what this basically 0 0.95 is about and what this value is all about so elasticity is used for the bounce now so bounce for the board so bounce for the board is now here 0 0.95 so if you put 0 so there will be no bounce or no elasticity but if you put one or uh, less than one then there will be the perfect bounce so we have here stick to, uh, to the 0 0.95 which is a very good bounce for our bird so after that we'll just say friction now and know the physics property and this friction let me say this friction is one now so this friction here zero is a frictionless and any value greater than one is really good to use so i have used here a one and one coefficient is for the concrete here so if you are using the concrete so we just sticking to that the shape or a background or basically the surface that the board will hit will be of the friction or the board will have the friction of one now that is basically board will act as a concrete here so after that we'll just add the collision and the collision type will be so we have to deal with the three types here so that means we have board here now and we'll have the peak which will have the collision the value other than this 
value of the bird and we'll also have the wood which will be rather making this our beam and frame so if you see here the woods so this will make our beam and frame so it should have another collision type so we're just sticking here the basically the bird will have the collision that is type 0 and the pig which ha will have the collision type 1 and similarly the wood which will be made in the upcoming lecture will have the collision that is collision type as a three basically two basically because we are starting from the zero and basically this is user defined so you don't need to worry about it so after that what you're going to do is space now we add in this space so in this space we should add something that is a body of a bird and similarly we'll just have the shape now two parameters should be added in the space and similarly we'll just self dot body just initialize because it is a constructor of the bird so we'll just uh, initialize the body as in body of a bird and similarly the um, shape will be also initialized and after that we have completed this bird class now we have left this pick class so i highly suggest that you should have little knowledge about some physics term like what is mean by mass movement force kinetic energy friction elasticity and so on because when you are making games like this where the user can experience some physics uh, your game will be more realistic to play so with that note i'll wrap up this video in the next lecture we'll make our another class this is pick class so see you